In this video, I will show you how to create a texture for our little puppy with texture painting. I hope you did the homework from the last video. If not, it's not a big deal. You will find a link in the video description where you can download the finished model. I improved our model from the last time. I added a loop cut around the ear and around the legs to round them off. We need to apply the mirror modifier and UV unwrap before we can start pa texture painting. Switch to edit and edge select mode. Press alt right click to select the loop around the center line. Then press U and select the option mark seam. Blender should mark the entire loop red. Select with alt right click the loop around the shoulder. The loop should run down the leg, continue between the legs and run up the other side. Press again U and select the option mark seam. Repeat the process for the loop around the hips. This loop should also include the tail. U and mark seam again. Select the base around the tail and also set a seam. We need to mark a seam for the ears. Select the loop at the throat and at the base of the ears. Since we applied the modifier, we also need to mark the ear base on the other side. We are ready for UV unwrapping. Switch to face select mode, enlarge the lower window and switch to UV editor. Select the entire model with A and press U and select unwrap. Blender should generate UV islands like this. We need to check for overlaps, so go to select and click on select overlap. In this case, Blender highlights an area in the top left. We zoom in with a mouse wheel and with a middle mouse button, we can navigate to the top left. We are already in vertex mode, so we can dissolve the overlap by selecting the vertices and press G to move them around. When we finished, we deselect everything with Alt A and zoom out. Another select overlap shows us no more overlaps in the UV map. Go back to object mode and switch to the workspace texture paint. Click on the button new for a new image and type in a name for the texture. Hold down shift and left click and drag the mouse from the width to the height to edit both fields at once. We create a 4K texture. Base color black is OK. Uncheck alpha. We don't need that and click on OK. Zoom out in the left window and enlarge the right window. In the texture slots, switch the mode from material to single image. The puppy should be black now. Go to brush settings, texture and click on new. Select the icon on the right side that brings us to the texture tab. The link in the video description will also provide you with the file velpetexturepaint.png for the brush. The preview should look like this. Click on the tool icon to return to the brush settings. The texture should also appear in the preview here. We change the mapping from tile to stencil. When we move the mouse cursor into the scene, we see the texture in the lower left corner. If you hold down the right mouse button, you can move the texture around. And you can scale the texture with shift and right mouse button. First, I align the texture with our model. Before we start painting, we should activate symmetry on the x-axis to mirror our painting to the other side. Hold down the left mouse button to paint on the puppy. First we paint the complete side of the model. We rotate the scene by holding down the middle mouse button. 
This looks not bad for the first attempt. Next, we eliminate the black areas. It is not necessary to paint with the correct body parts in this step. We will fix the critical parts later. The next step is quite tricky. We will try to paint the eyes from a three-quarter view. It took me several attempts to achieve a good angle and scale. I can't paint the eyes from the side because dogs are hunters and their eyes are more in front of the head. It was no problem in Grand Abit's horse because horses are flight animals and their eyes are on the side of the head. Another difficult step is the tip of the nose at the center of a snout. We have the same difficulty for the paws and the ears wherever the geometry is perpendicular to the angle of the painting texture. After painting the whole puppy, you might discover these visible seams. These seams appear when we paint the model from one angle and continue to paint the same face from a different angle. To remove the seams, we switch to the spear tool and we set the strength to 0.5. We paint over the seam to smooth the transition. Another tool is a clone brush. Move the mouse cursor over the area you want to copy from and press Ctrl left click. Then paint over the seam. For this brush we can set the strength to 50% as well. You can see now the seam disappears. Now it is a good moment to save our texture. We should have done this earlier. You'll notice the asterisk behind the label image. This means there are unsaved changes. Click on image and go to save. For this tutorial, I finished my painting. We switch to the layout tab and create a material for our puppy and switch to shader editor. Add a image texture node and select the saved texture. Add a texture coordinate and a mapping node with Ctrl T. Plug the color output into the base color of the principal node, reduce the specular value and increase the roughness. In the world setting, we click on the yellow circle and select environment texture. Choose an HDRI. I pick the Greenwich Park from Polyhaven. The sky is cloudy and we have an even lighting from every direction. Render engine is cycles and GPU compute if applicable. Switch to viewport shading and we can see the result. This doesn't look bad at all. Select the puppy, go to object and select shade smooth. Tada! When we take a closer look, we see that there is still work to do. I discover the seam on the head, the front leg, the inner side of the rear leg and the belly. The seam we just edited can be improved. There are several seams on the shoulder. You can return to texture paint and work on these seams. You can also fix the stretch texture on the head. Apply the texture from a steeper angle so you get less stretching. That's all for this video. 
and I see you in the next video creating the armature.